Bears fans, I am backstage with the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. Um, Sam's a big puncher, he's got a massive right hand, uh, I knew that coming in, um, so basically, he threatened with it a couple of times, I seemed to move out the way, he nearly fell over I think on his first shot, so I knew he was over committing, um, and then as soon as he missed that I just started countering, but I think after I hit him a couple of times I think I realised that he, like, he knew I was hurting him, so uh, I think he sort of went on the back foot. I don't really mind it being a Thai boxer. Um, Sam seemed to like to a double underhook in our honours. I don't think he really wanted the clinch in case I caught my inside shots. But uh, I think it went well. I actually started the fight game really late. I started when I was 23. I had my first fight at 24. And then I just never stopped. Uh, I'm 39 now. Still feel fresh-ish. So uh, I've just got to keep going till my body says no. tremendous and it? it's a big show um, it's well run the medics have been great we've had excellent treatment before and after the fight I've seen the, the doctors before and after brain scans eye scans blood tests urine tests no cheating going on so uh, it's, I mean and then winning and all my pals there watching as well sharing us on it's been great you've got to be tough um, uh, the, the impact of the glove, you can take a shot with a glove um, and it's more of a concussive blow, whereas the, if you get hit with a knuckle, it hurts. Luckily, I didn't get hit that day, so I'm great. <laughs> um, I think I was leading him with a, trying to lead him with a right hand, left hook, and then uh, I think when I, the, when I stopped him, it, it, he sort of got into a clinch, but coward um, a little bit, and I, I caught him with a, oh, I could. I think it was a left hook or something, maybe he's at the end. I was a little bit excited, I can't really foresee the whole lot. Yeah, I've got quite a few actually. I've got Legal Assist, I've got Pete Burke and Sons, um, I've got Computer Clinic, RDP Metalwork, I've got Team Valley MOT, Terry Christie's Block Paving, I've got Rob Ward's uh, Block Paving, I've got Seabreeze uh, Cafe, I've got Skelton Scaffolding, uh, the Education Network, John Ainsley's Metalwork, Advanced 365, who I work for, and BPM SFX as well, thanks. You've got to be dedicated. Um, people, you know what it is? People think you're a thug when you play this game and you're not. You've got to have half a brain to realise you've got to get out of the way of the shots, you've got to time your shots. And then that's just the easy bit, the fighting, it's all the food prep, you've got to, you've got to eat right, you've got to train right, you're training all the time. Like People think, oh, you're a thug, but I'm in bed nine o'clock, so I've got to be up at five o'clock running. So it takes over your life, really. So if you're going to do it, it's a big commitment. I'm Mick Terrell with Bare Knuckle News, and nobody beats them to the punch.